Sarah, Prince Sarah gonna draw Father's Folding Surprise. Yeah, Father's Day Folding Surprise. When it's folded up, it'll be a barbecue, and then when you open it up, the barbecue lid will come up and it will say, Happy Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need... Paper and tongue to close. Yeah, all right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first fold our paper, so we'll put our markers off to the side. Take the top edge, line it up with the bottom edge, and crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Next, we're gonna take the top flap and fold that edge up to the top edge, line it up, and crease it down the middle. I'll hold it for you. Thank there you, you go. Then we're gonna flip our paper over and repeat that same step. We're gonna fold the flap up to the top edge, line it up, crease it down. This last fold is just a guide fold, so we're gonna unfold it, flatten it out, and then we'll flip it back over so that our paper opens like this. Let's put scratch paper underneath our drawing paper. This is just to protect our table, and it's only red because it matches our table. Now we're ready to draw. We're gonna add our barbecue. Half of it will be above the fold and half of it will be below the fold. So let's first draw a rainbow line on top of the fold. So I'm gonna go up and then curve back down. Then we're gonna draw the same line except upside down for the bottom of our barbecue. Then we can draw a line straight across on top of the fold. So half of that line could be below the fold. And if you need to, I'm, I'm actually gonna draw another line on top. So it's a little thicker. And that way when you open up your paper, you can see the line on the top part and also on the bottom. There you go. Now let's draw the handles on this side. Then we're gonna draw another C shape inside. Let's repeat that same detail on the right side, but so we'll reverse or draw backwards C's for the other handle. And we could also add a handle on top of our barbecue for the lid. So we're gonna draw another kind of upside down U shape. And we can draw a smaller one inside. Now let's draw the legs to our barbecue. We're gonna draw a diagonal line coming out to the left and also out to the right. Then let's make these legs a little thicker. We're gonna draw another diagonal line right next to the first one we drew on each side. Then at the bottom of the leg, we can draw the letter U to connect both lines. Then let's also draw a line going across Maybe the bottom of each leg could be black, so we could color that in. It only has two legs, so let's add one more so it doesn't tip over. We're gonna draw two lines right down the middle, and these lines could be shorter than the two legs on the outside. This one's going back. Oh yeah, that was gonna be a thick one. <laughs> I like it. That's okay, right? Yeah. We're practicing. And then we can draw another letter U to connect the bottom. And <laughs> Let's draw another line across and color in the bottom part of that lake. We could also add another detail. Let's add a temperature gauge. I'm gonna draw a circle on the top. This is when you know it's hot enough. And we could also add little dashes on top or inside the circle. That's for the different degrees. And then maybe this is the line that's telling us that it's super hot. <laughs> We did it! All right, now we're ready to open up our paper, our folding surprise. So we should have the lid of our barbecue up here and the base of it down here at the bottom. Now let's draw the inside of our grill. Right here on the left side, we're gonna draw a curve that comes up, kind of matches the lid. Huh? We're gonna come around and then back down. Then let's repeat that same shape on the inside. So we're gonna draw another curve that comes around and matches the outside shape. I'm also going to draw, look at this, a line across the bottom too. You connected on each side. That's okay. You could draw another line straight across. This is for the thickness of our barbecue. Yeah. Then let's add the patties. I'm going to draw 
Ooh, we can draw oval shapes. I'm gonna draw one there, maybe another one over here. We could even add hot dogs. Maybe you could even do vegetable kebabs. That's the stick, the really long stick with the vegetables on it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> then let's draw the grill. We're gonna draw lines going straight down across the whole thing. So we're gonna draw, imagine them going behind the patties too. So we're gonna go all the way across. In this part we're going kind of fast because we're just repeating the same step. Add these vertical lines going all the way to the other side of our grill. I like the size of your patties. They're a little small. Yeah. Maybe those are sliders. And we could leave it just like this, but I think we need to add more things to the inside of our Foley and Surprise. Now when you draw the extra details, you want to make sure that you're drawing everything below this top fold and above the bottom fold. That way when you fold it up like this, it's hidden. See how the inside of the grill disappears? And then when you open it up, you can see the patties. Yeah. Now, this part, I think we're gonna speed up a little bit, but you guys at home can add whatever you want to the inside of your folding surprise. You could say, Happy Father's Day. Mm -hmm. You could draw hot dogs and burgers like exploding, yeah. go, flying out of the <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> You could add a lot of fire. Oh, yeah. Sometimes when I cook, there's a lot of fire. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's switch to our pencils. And you guys don't have to use a pencil if you don't want to, but we're gonna draw the words or write the words, Happy Father's Day inside of the folding surprise. So let's first draw or write the word happy up here at the top. So I'm gonna write H A P P Y. <laughs> Then we can write fathers right here, really big. So I'm gonna write F A T H E R. And it's okay, I'm, I'm not, oh, I'm gonna write an S over here too, fathers, Father's Day. Oh, I like how small you wrote fathers. You could erase that actually and practice drawing it bigger. Do you wanna do that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot bigger. I like that. Then we could also add a little apostrophe between the R and the S. Then let's write day. I'm gonna write it kind of small, but over here on the right. So you could write it, yeah, right there. That would be a good place. Now remember, you guys at home can add whatever you want. You could draw different things. Oh, maybe you could draw your dad back there flipping the hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna switch to my marker. And we're gonna trace around these letters to make the letters a lot bigger. We'll come down like this. Watch me on this first letter for the H. See how I'm going around, kind of creating a block or a bubble around the pencil lines. So we're using those pencil lines as guidelines so that we can draw the letters bigger. This also allows us to color in the letters to make it more colorful at the end. Then let's draw around the A. So I'm gonna trace around. We'll go underneath also. Yeah, and then you go in, up, over, down, and then connect. Good job. And then inside of the A, we're gonna draw a little triangle to finish that letter. Good, and then we can do the same thing for the letter P. Trace around it. There you go, and then down, and then connect. And then inside, I like how small your letters are. That's so awesome. I'm gonna draw, look at this. It looks like the letter D to finish the inside of the P. Oh, you did it. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with this P. Just repeat the same steps. Add that little letter D inside. If we ever go too fast, you can always pause the video and take extra time to add these letters. Now I'm gonna trace around the letter Y. We did it, we finished drawing the block letters to the word happy. Now we're ready to finish fathers and also the word day. Yeah. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to finish your letters. You ready? Yeah. I like that you made your letters even bigger and you also changed them to capital letters. Yeah. It makes it a little easier to turn them into block letters. Yeah. Now while you're tracing around your word father, I'm switching back to my pencil, except I'm gonna use my eraser and I'm gonna erase the guidelines 
inside of each of the block letters. That makes it a lot easier to trace, doesn't it? Yeah. I also have my little brush so I can, I can sweep off the erasers, the eraser shavings. Now don't forget on this letter A, you wanna add a little triangle oh, inside yeah. of the letter A to finish it. There you go, good job. Good job. And then inside of the R, you could add a little letter D to finish the R. I like your apostrophe too. I added a little triangle, but yours is cool also. Do you want to add the letter D? It looks like the shape oh, yeah. of the letter D inside. There you go. And then, do you want to work on the day. next word? Yeah, day. And then inside the letter D is a small letter D. Perfect. And then the letter A, I like that you have a lowercase a. And then the letter Y. I also added an exclamation mark at the end. So I drew a big rectangle shape and a circle at the bottom. All right, now do you want to switch to your eraser and erase all of the guidelines? We did it, we finished writing the words Happy Father's Day. That was a little tricky. So remember, you can add whatever you want. You could also write, I love you. That, that would be a little easier. You could also write, I heart you. Mm -hmm. Or you could write, I heart dad. And that would be fun too. Just yeah. write the word dad down here. And you don't have to draw it as block letters. I think this is just fun because we can make it more colorful. All right, Austin, what do we need to do next? Color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward again, but remember to pause the video, take extra time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our Father's Day folding surprise, our barbecue ears. They yeah. look awesome. And I especially love the steam that you added or the smoke coming out of the barbecue. It looks really cool. And, and I, I can almost smell the hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready to show our friends what's inside? Yes. Okay, on the count of three. Three, or wait, one, two, <laughs> three. Happy <laughs> Father's Day. <laughs> I love the inside of your folding surprise, Austin. We added extra patties. And what are these black things? Coal. Yeah, the coal from the barbecue. Did you have fun? Yeah. I hope our art friends take time to color their drawings also. And we hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing a barbecue for Father's Day. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.